Hello friends, my name is Kishan and welcome you in this video tutorial. In this video tutorial, we are going to learn how to write a generic method uh, in Java. So in past couple of videos, we have explored how we can write a generic class with single and multi type parameters. In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how we can write a generic method. So here you can see I have created a project with name generic method example and in com.infotech.model package i have a class is called employee which contains three private fields and corresponding public setter getter method and finally i have overridden to a string method so that i can print a state of object in nice format right now i have a second class is called client test which holds the uh, main method so here this class is even not a generic still you can create a generic method uh, within this class that's not a problem so here i'm going to create a generic class and that is private because i'm going to call from within the this class itself so private static and to define a generic method uh, we will have to specify something like this uh, so before return type of your method you will have to specify the generic type so this is gonna return us some element and i would say let's say display display method and which will holds the uh, array of elements right so it's pretty straightforward now here i'm going to iterate uh, array of elements which is not any a specific type so here type would be anything whatever you want you can send while calling this method you can type you can send uh, I mean list of uh, a string list of integer list of double list of employees list of persons you can send any kind of list of uh, objects here and here what I will do I'm gonna print this e so it's a generic method right it's pretty easy to define a generic method Make sure that before return type you have a specify the generic type, right? What type you are taking over here? Now let we have a two employee object which I have already created. I'm gonna create a employee uh, array with size two. Employee array with size two. I would say E M P E R R, and let's say size I'm gonna specify as okay and in first index I'm going to assign first object oh, sorry employee one I'm going to assign to the first index zeroth index and employee two I'm going to assign in the First, in, first index and second index, right? And employee two. Now I can call this method, display method, which we, there we can pass uh, array of object, and we are pay, passing array of employee object, right? It's pretty straightforward. So now I'm going to put some separator. Now, second thing, I'm going to create an integer of integer. I'd say int arr, and here I'm going to assign this integer array with some random values, something like this, right? Now, again, I'm going to call this method display method, and I, at this time, I'm going to pass an array of integer, right? So guys, when you call this generic method, then make sure that when you create an array, then here should be a class type. If you create an int of array, this is not going to execute. This will this will give you the compilation error, right? So suppose if uh, I specify int over here, then let's see, this is throwing an error. So you cannot specify int. Always will have to take the wrapper class. And then you create the array. Now if I run this application and let's see how it works. This should work perfectly fine. Right, so there are two employees. 
that is iterated and list of integer array of integer right that is also we have iterated right so that's the way to basically create a generic method so even though your class is not a generic still you can write a generic method inside it that's not a problem right so that's all i wanted to cover in this video tutorial guys here i have taken a single parameter but you can have a many parameter that's not an issue right so i hope you enjoy learning this video if you really like this video then please hit on the like button and please please subscribe my youtube channel guys and big thank thank you for watching this video